Hey friends, it's Kristen here. I am coming to you from Denver, Colorado, getting ready to work on dinner and I am gonna be using my stand mixer today. So I thought I would just take a minute to share with you guys a little bit about it because it is one of my favorite tools in my kitchen. Now, most of you think stand mixers like, oh, she must be a baker. She bakes cookies and cakes and she does all that kind of stuff all the time. I would love to be doing all that all the time, but I would be a bazillion pounds. So really, I don't use my stand mixer very much for traditional baking. I use it a lot for savory things, which is what I'm gonna share with you guys today. But before I do that, I do wanna share with you guys, when it does come to baking, there are some really nice features about this stand mixer that I did wanna point out to you. Um, so if you are in the market for a stand mixer, please consider the Pampered Chef one because it is by far better than anything else that's on the market. So a couple of silly little things about it that really do make it better is it has cord storage here in the back. And I know that uh, that seems silly, but with the brand that I had prior, I was like, what do I do with the cord? It was kind of like sloppy on my counter. So I really like that this neatly ties away here. Um, I like that this head locks um, with the one that I had before. I accidentally got my thumb pinched in here once when that head fell down and it hurt like a son of a gun. So with this, I really like the safety feature that it's gonna stay locked when um, when it's supposed to stay up like that. And then really what sets us apart is, is that it has some presets. So if you're new to baking or maybe you think you know what you're doing for baking, but you don't, that was me, um, you are gonna love this. So like when you have a recipe that says uh, cream your butter, I thought I knew what that meant, but you know what? Until I used the cream setting when I was making some cookies once and really saw what creamed butter looked like, I was like, wow, I wasn't doing this right. But the stand mixer is much smarter than I, and so it knows exactly the speed and the time that it takes to cream butter. Same thing, there's a whip setting. So for whipped cream, if you really don't know what you're doing or how long you're supposed to whip it or how high you're supposed to whip it, whatever, it knows it, it does it all for you. Um, also has a knead setting, so if you do a lot of bread baking, instead of all the hand kneading that you have to do, this uh, little guy is going to do it for you. So love the presets, but of course you can certainly control this like you would any other mixer where you can put in your uh, your speed and you know adjust it as necessary. But with the presets, what I really like is you don't have to babysit it. When as soon as you turn it on, it knows like it starts slow, it kind of ramps up, it goes faster and faster if that's you know what the speed indicates, and then it shuts off when it's done. So you don't have to babysit it. You can be having a glass of wine, you could be getting your next ingredients ready, you could be getting a few dishes done. So all kinds of little things like that that just make this stand mixer better than any that I have used um, on the market before. So, but for what we're doing tonight is I am making meatballs. So as I said, I like to use this for savory things as much, if not more for the baking. So if you make your own, my favorite thing, if you make your own meatloaf, you do your own hamburger mix, like if you're doing grilled burgers and you add all kinds of stuff to that hamburger meat, um, use your stand mixer or doing the meatballs like I'm doing tonight. But you can also make the greatest mashed potatoes. You can shred chicken with it. You can shred pork with it. Uh, nice if you need to like whip up some eggs or you need to, you know, scramble up your eggs, add some cream cheese to it. You can just do all kinds of savory things with this. So don't feel like I'm not a baker. I don't make cookies. I don't need a stand mixer. That is certainly not the case. So what we're doing today is I'm making some grilled meatballs. It's actually cold outside being here in Denver. It's snowy, um, but I am going to go ahead and just do these grilled meatballs in my convection oven. Could also do an air fryer if it was a smaller amount. But making a new recipe from our season's best, I love to be a test kitchen and try out these new recipes and use them with all the tools and have so much fun cooking. So for our recipe, uh, we're going to go ahead and we need a pound of ground beef. So we're going to go ahead and add that to our bowl. We're going to go ahead and add an egg. And this recipe, whether you're making meatballs or you're making um, meatloaf, it's kind of a similar recipe. Um, and you can just see how this would convert for anything. We're going to add a little bit of milk to this, about a quarter of a cup of milk. And we're gonna add a half a teaspoon of salt to this. We're gonna add some panko breadcrumbs to this. And then, um, now of course, if I was doing this as, I mean, we wipe my fingers here. If I was doing this as um, like Italian meatballs, I'd be doing Italian seasoning from Pampered Chef. But these are gonna be kind of more of a grilled uh, meatball. And so I'm gonna be using our smoky barbecue rub for this. Need about a tablespoon. And if you didn't know this about our rubs, the cap is a tablespoon. So I don't even need to get out a measuring spoon, especially since this doesn't need to be precise. So we're gonna go ahead and add our tablespoon uh, of barbecue, smoky barbecue to this. So this is going to add a really nice that again barbecue flavor a little bit of smoky flavor to it and then i'm going to be topping it off with some of our new sweet onion sauce so it's going to be really really delicious but 
have our ingredients in here. Now, prior to having a stand mixer, I would have used my hands. I've tried to use different tools. It just doesn't work. Hands are best, but you know what? It's cold. My hands are always like ice cold. My knuckles would hurt afterwards. It's messy. It's, you know, whatever. It's gross. So with this, um, with the stand mixer, I can just put it all in the bowl. We're going to push the button and it's going to do its thing. So let me add, but first off, let me show you this. This is one of the attachments that comes with it. And it has like this, a, a scraper bar on it. So it really makes it nice that it scrapes the bowl as it is mixing. So this would be the one that you would use if you're mixing cookie mix or brown or you know anything like that um, this would be the one and again too just to unlock this there's a button let me get this where you can see it there's a button here you just kind of click that and it's going to go down um, my recipe says that we're going to just mix this so i'm going to turn it to that mix preset uh, the, the preset is for two minutes and 30 seconds so that's like your standard cake mix i don't need that much with this particular recipe whoops i didn't push like i was so sorry so we're going to do mix I want to change the time, so I'm going to just push the button, and I'm going to turn this down. I really probably just need a minute or so, so I'll turn that down to a minute and push the button, and it's going to do its thing. I'm going to show you in just a minute what it's looking like, and I'm going to pull the camera over so you can see what is happening down there in our mixing bowl. Let's see if I can get that in an angle that you can see, but it is doing all work for me that I am not getting messy cold hands. Totally love this. Okay, and I hope you guys saw how, as that was mixing, it ramped up in, uh, in speed a little bit, so it kind of gave it a little flurry there at the end, and it turned it off all by itself. And it is just the absolute perfect mix. So let me show you what we got here. There you go. So that is ready to go. If this was meatloaf, I'd just throw this in my loaf pan. If it was hamburgers, I'd make it into patties. Meatballs, I'm gonna go ahead and use my scoop and scoop that out. But you can just see how easy and clean that is to make and how it just makes dinner prep a whole lot more fun and a whole lot easier. So if you like this stand mixer, definitely talk with your consultant so that uh, he or she can help you get some really nice discounts on getting this. We wanna get one of these in everybody's kitchen. So we are here to help you with some nice discounts. Let us know how we can help. Hope you enjoyed the demo and happy cooking.